Hi everybody, it's FIBO Group, and you're watching to the Market Watch review. The Russian foreign minister's warning about a serious danger of nuclear war shattered the recovery effort of risk appetites. The majority of large equity markets in Asia Pacific advanced. China was an exception. After the stock 600 dropped by 3.6% in the last two sessions, European shares are now trying to stabilize. Futures in the USA are softening. Although the dollar is generally stronger, the antipodean yen and yen are slightly higher. Sterling continues to struggle to sustain modest gains and the euro has lost more of its value in the dollar 1.06 handle. Yesterday's close of gold below dollar 1900 was the first since February. It is now in quiet turnover. After falling to dollar 95.30 yesterday, June WTI stabilized. A bid to turn the tide was unsuccessful in front of 100. Asian Pacific Market Some developments are worth noting in Japan. First, reports that Finance Minister Suzuki had discussed the possibility for intervention with U.S. Treasury Secretary Yellen were denied. Second, the Japanese labor market showed marginal improvement last month. Unexpectedly, the unemployment rate fell to 2.6% from 2.7%. Third, the government is implementing support measures for the economy. Five-day lows of JPY, 127.35, were made by the dollar against the Japanese currency. The session high of 128.20 was retested by buyers who stepped in the middle. After falling to $0.75604 days ago, the Australian dollar stabilized yesterday. Market of Europe Although hawks want an early rate increase July, it doesn't seem like there is a consensus. Others want to wait until September, when forecasts will be updated. The Fed's balance sheets were enlarged primarily by asset purchases. However, the ECB balance sheets grew through the extension of loans. Yesterday's euro fell below $1.07 for the first time since March 2020, and today, it fell further into the 1.06 region. Sterling is also having trouble stabilizing after yesterday's plunge, which saw it drop to $1.27 briefly for the first time since September 2020. Market of America Today's U.S. economic reports include a complete list. Economists may use March durable goods orders and shipment data to help them refine their first quarter GDP forecasts. Also due are the results of the consumer survey and sales of new homes. The conference board will announce the results from its consumer survey, while the Richmond Fed's April manufacturing survey will be available. Yesterday's testimony by Macklem, the governor of Bank of Canada, was against speculation of 7 to 5 basis points. After peaking at 1.2775 yesterday, the US dollar fell to CAD 1.2685 today. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.